Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renata and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my February makes. If you are interested to see what I completed, please meet me in the next clip. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I'm very excited to share with you the projects that I completed. I hope that you guys are ready. From my previous planning videos, you guys know that I wanted to complete four projects uh, last month, which was February. I did three out of four, so I think I did really good. The first project that I completed was the Britter Style 2009 134. It is a cami set. It was made with a lovely, luscious stretch fabric from <laughs> stretch fabric from mood it was that beautiful red color and i also attached some lace to it this is the cami and i do apologize i'm not modeling this i don't think that i will i'm not sure we're never comfortable doing something like that but this is the project that I completed I think it turned out really well and I, I like the details that it has I also enjoyed attaching these lace pieces um, I've never really worked a lot with lace I wasn't sure that I would be able to pull off like lace looks I always find that it's a little bit difficult to just get the right sort of lace so it doesn't look I don't know, not ready to wear. I'm not sure how to execute this um, description of what I'm thinking of, but this turned out really well. This all came from a mood, um, but you know what? It, it turned out really good and I enjoyed the process. The instructions from that birder was very simple and easy to follow. And it basically took me about a day and a half to complete once I got started after drafting the pattern. The only thing that I just did not do properly was the straps. I could have been a little bit better and slightly neater with that. It it turned out really good, but the fabric is so thin, and this is the first time that I've worked with such light material. Going forward and in the future when I do work with it, I think I have a better handle on how I want to approach that, and I think I'll do a much better job. But this is the cami. I really like the detail on the side where it gathers up here, and that instruction was very clear as well. I think it turned out great, and I would love to make a few more. I'm going to show you the bottom here's the bottoms and it is pretty easy <laughs> this is you know it looks like probably a lot of work but it was just a few straight stitches and this came together really well and just attaching the lace also just added an extra oomph to the project so that turned out really good the next one is my rope so let me go grab that and I will be right back Okay, so here's the robe that I worked on. I uh, Let me grab the number of that one. Okay, so this one is Birder Style 28 from that same magazine. Here it is. It turned out really, really good. I love it. It, it was just such an easy project and I think you know it the fabric is just amazing really good quality and also the the gold worked really well for this it's just it turned out so good i was just really happy and it's very warm as well for being a satin it is very warm i really do like it i'm happy with the project i think it turned out very well and I can't wait to do the 360 in these two. Um, I'm not sure if this will go up on Sunday the 7, but if not, it will go out in the middle of the week. So uh, let me go grab my pride and joy for the month of February. It turned out amazing. I love it. It's just a really beautiful make. This was my make for the Black History Month 
challenge over on Instagram by Nathita and Akira. So this is the Style So Me Giselle dress. Now, this will not do it justice until you guys see the video. It is beautiful. It turned out amazing. Okay, so this dress, the fabric is from Mood and it is a, a cotton, it's a stretch cotton sateen and the the, the stretch on this is 10%. I thought it was a little bit more, but it's 10%. And this is the, the silk. This is the crepe back satin. I think this is crepe back satin, which is my robes fabric. Um, basically what I was uh, saying is I felt that this fabric is beautiful, but it needed something a little bit different. Something that would just add a little more dimension and depth to it. And that's why I decided to go with the pink for the, the collar. And I think it turned out really great. Now, regarding this design and style of this, it is beautiful. It has an amazing modern fashion forward design. It's beautiful. It's got an amazing sleeves. Sleeves are pretty big still. So this is pretty much on trend and it's beautiful. The instructions were a little difficult and I think it had a lot to do because I think it had a lot to do with the fact that there were changes that were made and it was sent to me but it got lost in my inbox and I didn't realize that and when I started to work with the pattern and I cut it out uh, and following the instructions that were in that file, something was just off a little bit with it. I was like, something is missing, especially the instructions or the directions for the sleeves. I was like, this doesn't seem right. But then I got an updated version and things started to make sense. I kind of figured it out on my own, but then when I looked at the updated version, everything kind of fell into place and I was like, okay. <sighs> It was me. I, I kind of messed it up. The sizing, um, I made this a medium. It still does feel a little bit tight around my, my shoulders. However, I can breathe and I can live and I can move with it. And it's, it's comfortable, but there, the ease is a little tight. So I think that in the future, I may have to do something for the sleeve just to kind of open it up however this fabric like i said has 10 percent stretch so that would work really good for me because i feel like if it wasn't 10 percent stretch or if there was no stretch i'd be a little bit bummed because i'd have to get more fabric and redo the bodice but i don't have to do that thank god I use the stretch fabric. Other than that, this turned out great. I really love it. I can't wait to share the 360 with you. I hope that you guys enjoy it and I will see you in the end.
think of my mates. Those are the three that I accomplished during the month of February. I think they've turned out really good. If you have anything that you would like to share or any comments and questions, please let me know down below. Until then, have a wonderful day and I will see you on my next upload. Bye! Stranger's ringing on my feet